What's up everybody, Elegant Mess from the Mad Dog Gaming Clan. Today we're going to do a video on how to effectively use your drop pod in the battlefield. Uh, there are two ways in which that you're going to deploy in a drop pod, either with the squad deploy option or with the other option of using your squad leader's spawn beacon. Now the spawn beacon has a little more versatility in the fact that you, if you're a squad leader, your squad leader can set that uh, beacon in a place and you know just kind of leave it there and you'll know where you're going to be dropping from. Uh, if, with the squad deploy option, you just need to make sure that you know where your squad lead is, so you know where you're going to be dropping into. Now, the most important feature while using a drop pod for me is my personal waypoint. When coming into, you know, dropping into a battle, my personal waypoint is my best friend. Really? Uh, you know, ask what's going on. What, you know, what's your objective? Where's the armor? Where's the Sunday? You know, ask, and you know, they'll let you know. And uh, you know, use that accordingly. So there, you know, there are a couple of things that I always like to do when I'm in a drop pod. First thing is the movement. Your drop pod has a decent amount of, of ability in movements. Uh, your WASD keys are going to be your friend. Uh, the forward and back movement of the drop pod doesn't seem to be as giveable as the lateral movement of the left and right. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, as you can see here, I was able to get on top of the uh, the peak up here and uh, I was going for the harasser and you can see there was a Sunday down the hill and we'll get to him in a little bit but uh, my main objective at this point was this harasser and uh, again 2c4 and see ya so uh, another thing to remember when you're gonna be drop potting in knowing your objective determines your loadout and what you're gonna be using you know are you going to need tank mines C4? In this case right here, I was heading for a Sunder. You can see my personal waypoint is right over the Sunday. And uh, I don't know what was happening, but you know he decided to pull off right here. And I was an open target. Uh, which brings me to my next point. You know, sacrifice is victory. You know, you're not always going to complete your objective first, second, third try. You know, just keep going. Um, it, it's just not always going to work. That's the way it is. You're out in the open, and you're going to be seen. Um, it, and j as you can see right here, prime example. You know, this Sunday had to go out because they were just pouring in off of it, and I sacrificed myself. But you know, that stopped them from bringing themselves even even more. So as you can see right here, the drop pod is moving a little bit. Um, aiming is key, especially once you start getting close. I actually wound up hitting this harasser, which I usually don't like to do unless I know I can take it out, um, which gave him the opportunity to move away. If I hadn't hit him and just wound up landing behind him, I probably would have gone unnoticed and, you know, dropped my C4 and been about my business. But uh, I'm, I still managed to do a little bit of damage up on the hill, but not nearly, you know, accomplishing what I wanted. So, uh, you know, just keep these things in mind while you're drop potting. You know, it can be very effective. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you learned a little something from this. And, uh, you know, best of luck. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. And thank you for watching.